Hello and welcome again to another Lutris video. Uh, today we're going to talk about Citra, which is a Nintendo 3DS emulator. Um, I've tried it a bit and so far it's uh, worked quite well. Uh, it's still, it's a very early stage emulator. Um, it won't run all the games. Uh, Mostly, it will run very few games, actually. Uh, the one game I managed to run really properly was Zelda The Ocarina of Time. I managed to, to get it running quite well. Uh, so let's see how we can get this running. So this is the, the build script I wrote for BuildBot. So BuildBot is the repro with all the scripts we use to build uh, emulators on Nutris. Um, it's available here, so you can download this. Uh, if you want to use the script to build it, I recommend that you use the that you clone the whole repo because it does use some external uh, libraries here. So this is quite simple actually, it's just uh, CMake, make, and then we copy the executables in the directory and we archive them so it's ready to use. So I have the build here. Um, and we have two versions, like the C trap, which is a command line, pure command line version only. And basically, it doesn't have any options. And the Qt version, with, which has a UI, actually very minimal UI at the moment. Um, no inputs configuration. Uh, you can set the uh, audio engine to SDL2 or null. Um, and mainly some de debug and stuff. So. I, when you first run it, I recommend that you enable the hardware shader, uh, hardware renderer shader JT, and the scale resolution. This will, these two will speed up the game, and the scaled resolution will scale it at the, your nat native screen output and not at the. Uh, 3ds resolution so it will look much nicer um, you may want to you to change the, the region if for a game uh, next thing is if you get some games on the internet you might look for decrypted games like decrypted roms otherwise they, they won't run at all the proper way to do it is obviously to dump the um, the ROMs themselves from your console, which is the only legal way to, to play them. So you'll have to, to look like on the uh, homepage they have a wiki and they, they, they have FAQ, which you will be able to find out how to get those ROM, ROMs and decrypt them. Um, so yeah, th this is the mapping for the emulator. This is the only thing you can use. You might be able to remap this uh, if you go to dot config uh, Citra, and then here you'll have a config file. Uh, which is not really helpful because it's just a bunch of numbers. So I assume it's mapped to their um, ASCII version. What I did is I didn't take care about this at all. I left that as it was. And I use a C controller with the Steam controller here. Oh, shit. No, 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 cancel. Um, if you make your mappings 
be sure to save them like once it's, it's done for example if you want to map one key uh, here something make sure to save that otherwise you'll lose everything so I'm not going to save that copy of Nintendo 3DS I'm going to probably to share this profile as well because I it took me uh, like a couple of minutes to do it and uh, if you could not spend those couple of minutes to configure your steam controller that would be just as fine so I'm going probably going to uh, to include this and put it in the the build bot repo so it should go somewhere here I might add something for the steam controller so um, let's try and open a game right there so I did try Mario Kart and it does not do anything I mean, it will stuck, get stuck at this loading screen so I tried also Super Mario 3D Land and this one um, kind of works I think it only... Oh, what am I doing playing with the mouse? You don't have to do that. You can use the this pad as the mouse. Um, the thing is... Oh, I didn't think I had this. Okay. Um... There's no way to start the game, like, right now. You have to go through the intro, and then once you're... Okay, you can make this bigger. Uh, once you're inside the tutorial section, there's no way to start the game. So that's one issue. Um, other than that, I mean, the game seems to work all right. The sound is a bit glitchy. Which means that the emulation is not fast enough. But the, the authors of the emulator of Citra, they know that. And they'll take care of this like, in the future. So yeah, I'm playing with the, the Steam controller right now. Works really well. Uh, the thing is... I have no way uh, to stop the game, so it seems to work all right. Okay, I thought I'd map this key. Shit. Oh. B, B. How do it get? <laughs> um, go away, X. Okay. Um, yeah, so I can use the, the mouse here. So I'm actually using the Steam controller. And the uh, right trigger as a mouse click. And when I click start, it will stop the music, and that's it. Like, it won't start anything else, so maybe a bug here. So it's almost ready, almost playable, but not quite there yet. So the one that is really good, and I managed to play this uh, quite a bit, is Zelda The Ocarina of Time 3D. Uh, same thing, you can use the, the mouse here and use that on the touchscreen. And the uh, Steam controller will will work just fine. Um, 
if you do not have a Steam controller, but you have some something else, then you might want to use Xbox DRV or Anti-Micro, something else. But just be aware that uh, playing with the keyboard, with the current mappings, it's not enjoyable at all. So use something to map your controller to something else. Otherwise, you won't be having a good time. Um, So yeah, the the frame rate is good, the sounds good, uh, controller is good with the Steam controller. Um, you can I can track on the touch screen here. Uh, do I have a frame needed? And yeah, it's quite playable. So there might be a couple game other games. I haven't tried a lot of them. Um, doing really bad at this game. Um, I mean, if you really want to play that game, I recommend that you play the, the game on Nintendo 64, because you might have a better time. I mean, at least it won't be in this small window. You might have the, the game full screen. Um, but yeah, in a couple months or a couple weeks even, you might have a much better experience with the Citra. And I will probably upload the build on Lutris. So if you want to try it out, by the time the video is uploaded, you'll probably be able to, uh, to use this build I made. And yeah, and it will be included in the the, either the Git version of Lutris, or you have to, to wait for a new release. So the next release should be 0.3.7 or 0.6. Promise, next re, uh, next uh, major release, so it will be 0.4. We are getting rid of this stupid like 0.3.7.6. Uh, we're not going to go actually 0.4.1. 2.3. We're not going to have this four, uh, four number version, which was stupid for my part, I admit. Um, and yeah, this should be out like in a couple of days, I guess. The, this next version. Okay, I'm doing really bad. Um, Okay, I died. Um, so yeah, there, there is. I mean, it's playable. Um, try it out yourself. I mean, it's a little bit hard to find a game if you don't have the actual games on a Nintendo DS. I managed to find them, so you should be able to find them as well. Um, but yeah. You should be able. You should use the games from your own Nintendo DS. That's the legit way to to play. Uh, otherwise, you're on your own. I won't help you. Um, but yeah, trade outs. Making good progress. I think I'll upload some builds quite often because it's really. A fast moving emulator. Let's see. Um, let's have a look on GitHub. Um, two days, 
five seven yeah it's gets updated quite quite often so it might be worthwhile to upload a new build like once every week or maybe once every two weeks uh, so yeah have fun with this one and tell me if you manage to get some other games running like in the comments or in RSC on the, the Lutris forums uh, yeah tell me your experience with uh, Citra so see you next time bye